Welcome to your weekly Fire Tribe report. This is the Peace Dealer, and this video is for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. This is for the week of August 28th, 2016. And <clears throat> if your moon rising and or sun sign is here, and really even other planets too, you still want to watch this. The message for you this week is the message of Leo. You have the power, but it's more than just being powerful. You have a strength in your heart that is truly courageous. You have the person that walks around with the machismo and acts tough and threatens people. And then you have the people who are so calm in their heart. They can walk up to someone who's holding a gun and they can walk up unarmed and just really disarm the person just with their sureness. This is that strength that you have. This, this energy and power and presence that you're going to really express all of this week. It also means have fun and have some sex. You're definitely going to be sexually alluring, but given the energy and nature of these planets, you actually want to, if you can, you know, Find find someone you trust that you could express yourself sexually to because there's some avenues of spirituality you could only express through sex. And that's what the strength card teaches us. I mean, this is a woman playing with a lion, for God's sake, with the lemon scot on her head. So we have the three of wands as a major influence and you're making plans. But what crowns this is the three of swords. So there's just a heartbreak and separation you can no longer sweep under the rug or act does like doesn't really affect you anymore because the future, there are plans in your future that you're making that are going to involve influences that you're deciding to cut off for good now. This isn't even really a bad thing because this is literally leaving room for a powerful new energy for you to harness. In fact, you really want to experiment with unorthodox new ways to do things with the temperance and the seven of cups. Really indulge in occult themes, magic, uh, things that are really irrational and suspend your logic and your conscious mind. Because you'll hold space in your heart and what you're going to perceive through that is going to really create greater magic. This is really hard to explain logically, but I'm trying to channel the Mercury retrograde and how that will affect you. You're going to find yourself doing things uncharacteristic of you, but are, it's still true to your heart. And this is really a lot to do with something close to you. Do you see that? Do you see the blood dripping from that? That could be a lot of your hearts right now. And you know there's just someone you have to let go. And this is even worse because in the position of release, we have the love card. So for a lot of you, it's someone you love. And you're literally having to let them go. It's not easy. And it's not only someone. It could be something, too. This is not bad at all. Thankfully, we have temperance here. So a lot of bad influences in your life are going to be washed away as a result and as an effect of your good planning. In fact, Aries, everything in your life is going to turn around this week. And there's a lot of bullshit in your life that's going to be refreshed. You have every right to look up. There are times that you get optimistic and you're positive and then something will happen during that week. And it's just like, wow, why do I even bother being positive? All this BS. No, like this week, it'll, a lot is going to clear up and a lot that you've been a lot of good and light that was meant to shine in your life is going to really be here to stay. This is a this is like a reset card and is a surprise. We have freaking eclipse. Leo. We have the King of Cups, which represents your royal swagger, but also represents a very deep and emotionally mature understanding of situations around you. You're going to treat every situation and come at them with compassion, like a loving father comes at, you know, people who are not necessarily the most coherent the king of cups 
He's not a strict individual. He understands that maybe someone he deals with, like you will deal with, they're not as emotionally intelligent. They don't know how to express themselves in that refined royal way that you do, that is understanding, that is caring, and you're going to need patience. Even though you may feel like strangling their necks, they really need patience because there's no one else that they're going to come across this week that is actually hearing them out. And so they're going to be frazzled and they're going to feel like, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. But all they needed was someone who could listen like you will do. Um, it, you know, you're going to be the only one because of your nature who isn't in immediately judging them and who isn't instantly like trying to get rid of them. You holding space for everyone this week is going to allow people to really gain some great healing and Sagittarius. We have the Four of Pentacles, and this is a Sun in Capricorn card, and this is the influence of Saturn and Mars on your Sun, getting your shit together, proverbially and literally, those of you eating laxatives, but you really want to be mindful of the stuff you are securing for yourself. This week for you is all about actually stabilizing your finances, saving your money, and most importantly, reaching a greater level of material and financial stability, which some of you, you probably, I don't get the sense that you've wanted it for a long time, but I can sense that you've been actually uh, seeing this head there, or maybe some of you for the first time. So definitely enjoy that. And until next week.